How about some super bowling on this super Sunday? It's the sixth edition of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. Joining NBA superstar Chris Paul, actor, comedian Nick Cannon, NFL great Terrell Owens, comedian Chris Hardwick, actor Jesse Williams, rapper French Montana, and 10 of the PBA Tour's top pros, all here to compete for this trophy while helping Chris Paul help kids through his CP3 Foundation. Who's got game on the lanes? Find out next. The AMF Bolodrome in Torrance, California, plays host to the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. The greatest bowlers in the world and some of the brightest stars in sports and entertainment join forces in support of the CP3 Foundation. And hello again, everyone. Mike Jakubowski with PBA Hall of Famer Randy Peterson. Kimberly Pressler reports lane side. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational is a Super Bowl Sunday tradition, Randy. And there's smiles and there's glee right now. But once that first ball goes down the lane, it's all about competition. You know, we're here for a great cause, the CP3 Foundation. Kudos to Chris Paul and the PBA for putting on this awesome event. We've got some very talented celebrities here with us tonight and your top PBA professional bowlers. But make no mistake about it, at the end of the day, this is a competition, and the only thing the celebs and the pros are thinking about is hoisting that beautiful Chris Paul trophy at the end of the event. And today's competition coming at you in two parts. First, there will be two super clashes with our celebrities and then our pros. The winners of those clashes will be teamed as a doubles team and will form a doubles team that will bowl in the title match. Celebrities and pros seated two, three, and four will also be teamed together and they will bowl in our semifinal. Kimberly Pressler stands by with our host. Thanks guys. So Chris, Mike and Randy just talked about how fun this event is, but at the end of the day, it's a tournament and I know you're competitive. What would it mean to you to win? Oh, it mean a lot. I mean a lot. Uh, I don't do anything to lose. I don't believe in that. But uh, you know, we have a lot of people here, a lot of, a lot of fans, and most of all, I'm just grateful to the guys who came out for this great cause. Now, right before we got on air, you said that you were going a little bit nervous here. Oh, I'm you, definitely nervous. You going to let those nerves get the best of you? I hope not. We're going to see, though, real soon. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Tossing out today's first ball at AMF Bolodrome is Christopher oh. Emmanuel Paul II. Little Chris Paul. <laughs> picking up the toughest pin first. Uh. CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational, broken into two parts, our Super Clash competition will feature all of our celebrities bowling in a series of one ball roll offs until we get our top four players. And let's take a look at the lineup tonight. How we're going to start this competition. Chris Paul is going to lead off, followed by Terrell Owens, Chris Hardwick, Jesse Williams, French Montana, and bowling anchor Nick Cannon. That order will rotate after each frame. Take it away, Woo. Chris. Got to take the second one, so this could be it. Yep. And right off yep. the bat, yep. Jesse Williams letting Chris Paul know that he actually won this shootout back in 2012. I'm not sure if you have it, honestly. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Opening shot of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational Super Clash is a seven count. Four. Seven. Now, Chris, do you want to use, you wanna you use your use mulligan? That's, that's, that's you want to use your mulligan. This is the time yeah, you can use it once. got to be safe, though. But if you get safe. less than seven, you got to take that. Better safe than you sorry, you know? We're going to definitely get less than seven. Uh, <laughs> you might as well use it. Just got to, you know what I mean? Like, be safe. You know I mean? Nick says they're only going to get three combined. I mean, We're what do you only think? We're going to get three combined. You good. Seven, you we sit down. All right, Chris is going to sit down. Right there, though. Chris Paul accepts his seven count, and he saves his mulligan. 
Up now, six-time NFL Pro Bowler, Terrell Owens. Don't be so serious. See? Oh, no, it sucks to go first. Smile, yeah, lighten up. Really sucks to go I'm first. first. This is charity. <laughs> I'm first. I got real nervous. Watch it. Can y'all throw it with your left? It's not fair right here. This man's an athlete. He's good at everything that has to do with the ball. Wow, great shot. Hey, T.O., T.O., come here, talk to me for a minute. How, how nervous were you getting up there in that shot? Not after Chris Bowl, what, seven? Yeah, I wasn't that nervous. Not at all? No, no, okay. not after seven. Hey, great shot. I think he's a coach. He's a youth as well again. Next up, the founder of Nerdist and the host of Comedy Central's At Midnight, son of PBA Hall of Famer Billy Hardwick, Chris Hardwick. This is the only forum I could beat any of you at something athletic. <laughs> Who brings an air horn to a bowling center? <laughs> oh, he's good. How about it? Yeah. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You don't want to use the mulligan? I don't want to use the really mulligan. I'm not going to use the mulligan. mulligan. I don't, I did, I'm not using the mulligan. Right. Oh, okay. I think I'm in trouble. Let's flash back to the very first celebrity super clash. It was Chris Paul going head to head with Jesse Williams. Williams stepping up, needing nine or better to defeat Chris Paul. And the late fall of the five pin to beat CP3 for his very own trophy. Jesse Williams, 2012 celebrity super clash champion. Jeff. Hey, Jesse, ball. you won this Jeff. back in 2012. You won the shootout. Make sure to keep discussing that. Keep that on the right? of people's, yeah. Okay. Keep that in mind. Jesse Williams, star of Grey's Anatomy, picking up the People's Choice Award for Best Drama as he tries to defend his Celebrity Super Clash title. Jesse, Jesse, Mulligan. Is that two? Is that two? Yeah, you get a mulligan. All right, that's it again. All right, Jesse. Erase that from your memory. Okay. Erase that. That never happens. That never happens. You gotta lower the bar to raise it. Absolutely. You know? I like that. He's using his mulligan. If you do anything, Jeff, just get seven. Make it interesting. Uh-oh. Take your time, Jess. Take, Take your time. time. You can do it. That's the exact same. That means Chris Paul is safe. Next up, American rapper born in Morocco, French Montana. Oh, yeah. Yeah, French. That was great. French, French, you left me hanging over here. Hey, man. How did that feel, that first shot out of the gate, man? It was all in the wrist. It was all out right here. That was a great shot. Keep it going. That was a lucky shot. I told you. I told you. Go ahead, Nick. First shot for America's Got Talent host, Nick Cannon. You got it, Nick. <laughs> Nick, you only need four. Oh, you need four? Four. All right, here we go. Three's fine, right? And the seven count for that? Nick Cannon. No, no mulligan no, necessary. Oh, I don't need to use that. Jesse oh, Williams will be eliminated. So no uh, chance to repeat as Celebrity Super Clash champion for Jesse Williams. When we return, who will be the next celebrity eliminated at the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational? Find out next. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational presented by AMF is brought to you by GEICO. 
Saving people money on more than just car insurance. Buy DB8. We are DB8. Tonight we bowl. Buy AMF. Roll this way. And buy hotelplanner.com, the best place to book hotel rooms. Best rooms, best rate, guaranteed. The magnificent CP3 Trophy graces the coast here in sunny Southern California as the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational rolls on at AMF Bolodrome in Torrance. Frame two now of our celebrity clash as the lineup shifts. Chris Paul, Chris Hardwick, Nick Cannon in French Montana battle for the top four seeds to advance to doubles play as Terrell Owens, a record setter in Super Bowl 39, starts off this round. Light hit and an eight count. Are you good? Terrell's gonna stay with eight. Hey, Chris, are you gonna change balls for this left lane like uh, T.O.? the same balls I've been using. Okay, buddy. The number's eight, anything nine or 10, Chris Hardwick is safe. How about it? Sloppy! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Help me out. Help me out. You know, do, do they understand the meaning of defending champion? <laughs> I think I almost didn't understand it though. That was slop, but I'm going to take the slop because it's a shootout. 10 is 10. 10 is 10. Yes, thank you. You got this, French. Stop, man. French Montana speaks several languages. Let's see how fast he picks up the bowling lingo. Nick, 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 you need nine or better. Nine or better. But the good news is you still have your mulligan. Okay. Good luck. A, okay. Good luck, Nick. Thank you. Uh-oh. Nah, I got you. Please, Jesus, help me. All right. Come on, Nick. You got this. Uh-oh. Oh. Use your mulligan. <laughs> Mulligan. <laughs> Mulligan. I think it's safe to say that Nick's going to take his Mulligan now. T.O., you're not rooting for him, are you? I'm focused. I am. You're, you're rooting for yeah. Okay. Let's go, Nick. I'm just building now, up the pressure. Hey, Nick, now if you get eight, Let's you go, and Nick. Terrell are going to have a roll off. Yeah. Okay. Me and I got, you. I got, I got this. I do. Let's go. I'm just making it interesting. Depending on what Chris does. Cannon on the Mulligan, second chance here. Oh my! Nine count for Nick Cannon, putting Terrell Owens oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the bubble for possible elimination. Oh, no. Oh. That was unbelievable. I, I had to make it interesting. You know, that's what I do. I make TV exciting. <laughs> NFL all-time great Terrell Owens not used to getting knocked out of contests on the verge of elimination if Chris Paul can get nine or better on this shot. T.O. has been eliminated. Terrell Owens joins Jesse Williams on the bench. Neither player will move on to the PBA doubles competition. He was ready for this. You're watching me, too. All that practicing. Chris Hardwick, defending champion of this event with Chris Barnes, begins round three. All four players left will advance to doubles, but in which order? Packs the pocket. Hardwick looking strong. Hardwick looking strong. Okay, I'm sitting up. Get him, Brent. Sit down, man. I don't know if it's me. Brent, you up. Huh? Third crack at the rack for French Montana. Mulligan. Mulligan. Yeah, of course. All right, French is going to take his mulligan. He still has his mulligan, right? All right. Over there. Each celebrity can use one mulligan. The PBA Pro Clash is coming up next. The pros will not have that luxury. T.O., you good? <laughs> French Montana, four count. I need you to bounce. I need you. Hey, Nick, that's a big ball. I need you, Nick. 
Nick. That's it? I need you to go down, Nick. You need Nick. five, Nick. I need five. Five. That's all I need. That's it. And all right. No and you're out of mulligans. You, when it's four, you probably shouldn't hold it up that high like that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no more mulligans, Nick. Oh, looks good. With that strike, Cannon alive for the top three seeds in the upcoming PBA doubles. Chris Paul up now. Five or better will eliminate French Montana and make Montana the fourth seed for the PBA doubles. If I don't beat four, then I don't deserve to be here anyway. Brooklyn! It's like, it's like, what do you say? No, I said, you see how they tried to throw me off by playing the Mariah music while I was No, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where the DJ at? Hey, you hey. hey. see what you're doing over there. I see what you're doing over there, DJ. Try to throw me off my game. I see you. French Montana eliminated from the celebrity clash competition, but also advancing as the number four seed in the PBA doubles coming up. We see what you're doing. See what you're doing, try to throw me off my game, DJ. I see you. DJ, DJ, was playing, DJ was playing that Mariah when he went up the ball. Oh, man! That's a disqualification. I'm not good over here. Nick Cannon, a busy man, actor, lane, comedian, host, one of the real husbands of Hollywood, and now a bowler. And missing the head pin, seven count. You got that. Cannon with Chris Paul oh, and Chris Hardwick battling for the top three seeds in this CP3 Celebrity Invitational score, Clash round. Chris Paul, fourth overall pick of the New Orleans Hornets in 2005. Huh. CP3 the toast of the town since moving west, leading the LA Clippers. Toes the line here in the fourth round. Chris Paul is I'm safe. There, I'm there, I'm there. I'm there. Still in the running. Chris Hardwick needs eight. To knock I'm out Nick down Cannon. On this one, I, see. I still ain't got a strike yet. Yeah, you, nah. Good time. You made a Beat fall. the man in front of me. Nerd carry for Hardwick on the eight count. Oh. All right, Chris, it's down to you and the other Chris. That was good, though. Was I, like, I like your roll. Hey, I like your I like your down and in shot with that uh, with like that, that with that strong bowling ball you're using. I like that a lot. Who was it first, me or Chris? You're gonna start. Chris Paul, right there. Sir? Chris and Chris, sir. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, I bet y'all know who's gonna win. Come on. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and now nice. to decide who is our number one seed for the championship no, no, match, Chris no, no, Paul no. to begin. And he gets. Wait, now hang on a minute. Eight. Chris, you still have a mulligan. Yeah, bro. I'm using it. Chris is gonna use his mulligan. Oh, really? So then it. I got, I got to. The best oh, one right. the last. If he bowl after me, this is the last. Right. Yeah, I got to. Just don't make it worse. Oh, whatever happens on the second shot. Yeah. Paul oh, electing to use his mulligan oh, yeah. here. This is for the number one seat come between Hardwick and Paul. And another wow. profound use of mulligan. Wow. Strike. How good was that? There you go, Paul. That's a competitor That's right That's why you use a mulligan. That's wow. a competitor right there. Good choice. Slow it down a little bit. Good game management right there. Ain't no pressure for a person like you, Chris. <laughs> Hardwick not done yet. Can strike to force a roll off. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to No, you got to use a mulligan. Good game. Use a mulligan. No. <laughs> no, no, I know your name's on the oh, sign. Okay, but. Okay. Are we moving on? Hardwick yeah, saved up his mulligan. Come in handy. Right? Strike to oh, force a roll off. This is for the plan. number one I seed. I know. And a direct know, seating to the like championship match. Oh, that's in there. And we'll have a roll off. We are now in sudden death, my friend. Right? Wow, great use of the mulligan. Great use of the mulligan. We're going to the left lane, Chris. Left lane. Chris and Chris. A battle for the number one seed. The Pro Super Clash is coming up next. No more mulligans. Serious. Serious. That was a great shot, Chris. 
strike for Paul will advance him to the championship Perfect. match. Oh. Chris Paul, 10-pointer, defeats Chris Hardwick and wins the Celebrity Clash. Hardwick, the number two seed, and CP3 will bowl for this title. Who will his partner be? All-star form, all-star results for Chris Paul. The pros clash next in the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational visiting AMF Bolodrome for the first time in Torrance, California. And Mike Jakubowski with Hall of Famer Randy Peterson joined now by our host, Chris Paul. Can you believe it? The sixth opportunity Man, to have this event. It's amazing. It goes pretty fast, but what a blessing it is. I'll tell you what, it was uh, awesome to watch you get up at the last two shots in that shootout, Chris. Um, you know, you're a great bowler, obviously a great athlete, but where do you get the skill in this sport? Uh, probably for doing it for so long. I said earlier, it's like riding a bike. You know, I've been playing so much in the season, I haven't had a, time, a lot of time to bowl, so um, I don't know, just somehow, some way. It was a great performance going up against your old nemesis, Chris Hardwick. Mike? Chris, benefit uh, of the CP3 Foundation is this event, and uh, you mentioned a very recent success in the North Carolina area. Tell us about it. Yes, yeah, back home in North Carolina uh, with a good friend of mine and Josh Howard, who's a legend at home at Wake Forest. We do a toy drive every year at the Toys R Us for kids, and we also do one here in Los Angeles. CP3 Foundation sponsoring a number of initiatives, promoting education, health, sports, and social responsibility. It's time for the PBA Super Clash. Each PBA player will throw a shot, low pinfall eliminated. The difference, no mulligans this time. Process continues until we have our top four. Top bowler advances to the championship match. Second, third, and fourth will be seated into the semifinal. PBA Super Clash, order of play, Ronnie Russell gets things started with a strike. Chris Barnes down in the fourth slot, strikes. Bill O'Neill follows suit in the fifth slot. The King of Swing with a 10 count. Todd Book up in the first round, crossing over eight count. Book on the verge of elimination. Pete Weber seals the deal and eliminates Book. That wraps up round one. As we get ready for round two, Kimberly Pressler is lane side with Jason Belmonte. Jason, you've won this twice with your teammate Chris Paul, and he just qualified first. But in order for you guys to have a chance of a three-peat and getting teamed up with him again, you need to get first right here. You think you can do it? Yeah, I think I can do it. I mean, the lanes are playing pretty nice. We're, uh, we're all a little relaxed, so I might take the edge here and be a little bit more serious than my uh, opponents here. But listen, I don't care if I get to bowl with Chris or not. It's a great event. This is all for charity, so fingers crossed that I do. But here we go. We'll see what happens. Good luck to you. It's your turn to bowl. 2010 was the second year of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. CP3, you were paired with Jason Belmont. Yeah, it was a great time. Uh, it was my first time seeing that two-handed bowl. Uh, I took a dive down the lane. <laughs> and the next year, uh, returning to New Orleans, where you were the defending champions. Yep. And that time, I think Belmo took a dive. Our guy Wayne was bowling. He pulled pretty good. <laughs> he did. He did. He didn't think he was good either. That little Belmo diving right there. <laughs> we had so much fun. So Book is eliminated, nine players remain. Top four will advance to the next stage of the competition. And Jason Belmonte will lead off here in round two. The winner's gonna team up with Chris Paul. Chris Paul is seated into the finals. Chris, have you ever toyed with throwing two hands? Man, I did, I did. I think it was 2011. I was trying it with Belmo, but it's not for everybody, just know that. Ooh, yeah, for Belmo. And the way it's looking, unless the left lane plays a little bit differently than the right lane, it's striker go home. 
you were able to strike on both lanes. You made both lanes look pretty easy. It wasn't. <laughs> Coming up next, Big West Malat. There you go. He's looking to make sure that nine pin oh, sure. wasn't standing. Look like Wes throwing a baseball down here, don't it? it? He makes it look pretty small. He throws it really hard. He's got that great rotation. And when the ball goes through the pins, it almost looks like it weighs 18 pounds. 18 time PBA Tour champion Chris Barnes is up. Sends it wide. Eight count for Barnes. Well, you heard him as soon as he let go of it, he didn't like it. Yeah. And apparently, I didn't know. My last shot of that one. Bill O'Neill is up next, also the subject of today's Track Tech Talk. Bowling balls range in weights from 6 pounds to 16 pounds, and everybody on our tour uses either 15 or 16 pound equipment. In fact, Bill O'Neill is throwing 16 pounds, as is Chris Paul. You want to try to go as heavy as possible with your equipment because the heavier the bowling ball, the better the pin carry. Bill O'Neill steps up now. Oh boy. Oh Six. Doesn't like it. Crosses over eight count. How do you break that down? O'Neill now joins Chris Barnes on the bubble with eight. Eight is still a number. Next up, Stuart Williams. Strike for Beef Stew, Stuart Williams, and the PBA no, World no, Championship finalist is safe. So Barnes and O'Neill on the bubble with eight. Fagan is now up in round two of this PBA Super Clash. Top four players will move on and pair up with Chris Paul, Chris Hardwick, Nick Cannon, and French Montana. Two guys still on the hook. Barnes and O'Neill looking for Rash and Weber to help them. Todd Book was eliminated in frame one. Trouble. Not looking good. Got to think the players are going to hit the pocket with every shot. That's enough. Yes, sir. I'll take that. Flat 10, baby. Flat 10. PBA Hall of Famer Pete Weber on deck. Let's flash back now to the 2012 CP3 event. Moving to Lucky Strike in LA, the competition featuring three-person teams. Blake Griffin teaming up with Jerry Ferrara and Pete Weber. And Ferrara, the breakout star in 2012, with a little something for Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart teaming with Jason Belmonte and Chris Paul that year. And the team of Griffin, Ferrara, and Weber defeated the team of Paul, Hart, and Belmonte. Final score, 187-180. Pete Weber steps up, the 37-time PBA Tour champion. That's good for third on the all-time list. Look out. Oh, no. Shades come off. He's done. How so about <laughs> Barnes and O'Neill? They have new oh, life. So bad. <laughs> Unless Ronnie Russell could save Weber, Weber's going to be eliminated. Barnes and O'Neill back in. You're the good guy on two or two. There's at least 50, 50 chance of that happening. Oh God. Wow. Strike for Russell and Pete Weber has been eliminated. Chris wow. Paul, thank you so much uh, for joining us Man. and continued success for the uh, CP3 Foundation. All right, thank you, guys. Hey, con continued success for the rest of the NBA season, my yes, friend. Sir, I appreciate always it. Always a pleasure having you with us and always a pleasure watching you on the hard court and on the lanes. And we will see you in the championship match and we will find out who your partner is coming up when we return to AMF Bullet Drome Lanes, the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational rolls on.
A Super Bowl Sunday tradition, the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational plays to a packed AMF Polydrome in Torrance, California. Players and entertainers given the royal treatment. It's red carpet season here in LA. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, losing. Being starstruck, yeah, it's it's pretty cool to be able to bowl with you know all these famous people from around the world. You bowled pretty well in the past. You've actually beat Chris Paul. I am a returning champion. Uh, you know, I, I didn't win last year, but I think I won two years ago. Oh, it's such a fluke, but I got that trophy though. I almost brought it back this year. How big of a fan of bowling are you? I really can't play, but nobody know that. <laughs> so I'm just waiting. I'm, I'm just waiting for my shot. I'm an amateur, so uh, I'm a pro bowler on the football field, but uh, that doesn't bode well for me here. How did you prep for this event? I did not, oh. which is really, that's a sneaky approach. So who are you rooting for in the pro division? Oh, in the pro, in the pro division? Yes. Oh, uh, you know what, listen. Uh, Come I'm, on, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, uh, I'm voting for everybody. Chris, defending champion, that's a big title. You think you can do it this year? You know, I sure hope so. I enjoyed uh, bowling with Chris and we've stayed in touch and I actually known him for a long time, so I hope so. I feel a lot of pressure. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I feel like I should have done the cowardly thing and been like, no, nah, one and done. I did it. Well, this is your house. You're the defending champion. Let's see how you do tonight. Good luck. Oh man, I'm no good at trash talking either. I really want to trash talk and be like, you're gonna eat a bag of dirt. You might not be paired up with Jason Belmonte. Does that bum you out? Or are you not worried? We'll find a way. Belmo's my guy. You know what I mean? He knows it. Uh, the world knows it by now. You know what I mean? So Belmo's my guy. And we'll, we'll find a way. It's always good bowling with Chris. He's a great bowler. Um, we've had a, a few wins. I mean, I'm hoping that uh, we do get paired up. Otherwise, if we don't, I'm sorry, Chris, but you're not going to win this year if I'm bowling with someone else. I would much rather have Jason Belmonte as my partner. We'll see who gets paired up with Chris Paul directly seated into the championship match. PBA Super Clash rolls on with strikes being featured. Here's Wes Ballot. Chris Barnes dropping a rack. Sean Rash clears the deck despite the holding penalty. Red Hot Ronnie Russell with a little rub of the CP3 trophy. In round three, Mike Fagan with the seven count would be eliminated. Come on, baby. Bill O'Neill in round four. And he rings a 10 pin, nine count. The British Beefcake, Stuart Williams up. Oh God. Stu crossing over for the nine count, both he and O'Neill are out. And these are the pros remaining in the Pro Super Clash. Top seed will join Chris Paul in the championship match. Players two through four will be paired up with their partners and compete in the semifinal. Big time, dude. Sean Rash steps up to start round five. Guys are playing nice. <laughs> five players left. Sean Rash starting with a strike. On the players are on the right lane. Ronnie Russell oh, up I'm next. Not sorry. I can't do it. Can't do it. Low can't count do it. and ties oh, yeah, are man. out. Oh, yeah. no, you're right. you can't do it. <laughs> But now with our fifth frame and five players no, left, don't even try. Trust me. we need to have four for our next round. So we'll eliminate just one here. Any ties will go to roll off. Russell with the strike. Ten still a number. Remember, the winner of this shootout will be teamed up with Chris Paul for the team event portion of this event. Jason Belmonte getting up here on the right lane. And look out pins. <laughs> Well, he's going to a little air now. He's, been, he's moved so far to the left that now he's got to kind of loft it over the gutter cap. Wes Mallott is about two arrows right of that, going much straighter and much more direct. He does it with ball speed, and he does it with rotation, and he does it because he's the beast. And Mallott is a nine. I was wondering how long that was going to last, going that straight with all these players moving way in. And at some point, Wes had to move in and start creating some angle. He didn't do it, now it's a four pin. And if Barnes strikes on this shot, 
Wes ah. Malad is eliminated. We will have our four players that will team up with our celebs. We will then have to determine in which order. So Barnes strike to advance. Nine would force a roll off. Eight and Malat advances. Got a chance. Yeah. And West Malat has oh, oh, been oh, eliminated. Oh, Ronnie oh, Russell. Jason Belmonte, Chris Barnes, Sean Rash. Oh my. Washout six. Hey, who was the fourth guy on there? <laughs> is there fourth guy? Well, there if, fourth? It, if the six count holds up, Ronnie, you're going to be partnered with French Montana. Who? Nick or French? This was just you get, you get Nick or a bit French outside. Nick. I don't even think Belmonte could get it back from that spot. And a strike off the seventh arrow for <laughs> Belmonte. Barnes struck in his two previous shots. Uh oh. Wow. Huge break there. It went high. Trips the 4 7 out late. Love. Barnes is like, what? What? You get all the love. Barbasol, close shave of the day. And a very close shave between six and eight on this pitch by Barnes. Goes right through the schnoz. This could have been five. Instead, it's eight. It's enough. Hey, you got it? Yeah. Right. Hey, don't throw it slow or hard. Let's see if Rash just goes for the high hard one here. Conventional strike ball and a conventional strike. That was a nice. Don't do it. Ronnie Russell that was a nice. that was a nice. will team up <laughs> with French <laughs> Montana. Yeah. Don't throw so hard. I'll talk my way into that one. Meanwhile, Belmonte has won two of these CP3 PBA invitationals and would love to bowl for a third with our host. Excuse me, Jeff. He's a little farther left than you and I. All right, Belmonte's just set the table with a strike. Chris Barnes, right lane. Remember last time up, he got eight. Great shot. Wow. I didn't expect that, did you? So Barnes strikes, and Belmonte with a strike. Now the situation here is if Rash strikes, we would have a three-way roll-off. <laughs> Pin. Sean Rash is your number three seed and will team up with Nick Cannon. Rash is so lucky. I wanted to team up with Nick Cannon. <laughs> Here's Barnes. And Tempin. He doesn't like that lane, by the way. He hasn't liked it throughout this competition. However, if Belmonte strikes on this ball, Chris Barnes will be back with Chris Hardwick, the defending champions of this event, if Belmonte strikes here. And Chris Paul would team up with Jason Belmonte, and they've won two of these. Come on, Belmonte! Indeed, Belmonte strikes, and we have our four seeds each way. Belmonte and Chris Paul. Barnes and Hardwick, Rash and Nick Cannon, Ronnie Russell with French Montana. When we return, semi-final action, Baker team doubles next in the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational.
Head to PBA.com for information on the PBA Network, ESPN telecast and live streaming schedules on Extra Frame, plus social media outlet links. Let's take a look at highlights from the recent GEICO PBA World Series of Bowling. World Series of Bowling 6 starts with the four pattern championships. Yeah, we start off with Cheetah, and it was the television debut of Anthony Pepe. He shoots 295 in the semis. He faces plus, Dick plus. Allen in the title match. Anthony Pepe looking for his first ever win. Dick Allen, well, he's looking for a place to hide because it was Splitsville. Three to be exact. This one just an awful break leaving the pocket 7-10. Allen in command, and then the unthinkable happens, opening the door for Pepe to perform. Pepe just looking for a mark here in the 10th frame. Yes! And none better than 10 in the pit. He captures his first ever career title. Up next, the PBA Pfeiffer Championship, another PBA Tour debut from Connor Pickford. Real exciting, up and coming player, a lot of hand, a lot of power, but he was gonna face Major Mika. And the Viper pattern, well, it played tricky. A big split right here for Connor Pickford gives Mika the opening he was looking for. And Mika, the master technician. He would use his skill, his loft, and that hand up the back of the bowling ball to capture the Viper championship. The Chameleon Championship in one of World Series of Bowling Six top competitors, Ronnie Russell. The 24th televised 300 game in PBA history in the semis for Ronnie Russell, but he would take on DJ Archer. DJ Archer bowling with a heavy heart, the recent passing of his mother, and Ronnie Russell continued on his striking ways early on, but it was all DJ Archer throwing great shots from the deep inside part of the lane. Using his skill, rolling his wrist up the back of the bowling ball, creating that big hook down lane. It was all DJ Archer. He needs one more good shot to capture his first title. Bang! How does this 10th frame look? DJ Archer, PBA champion. Thank you, mother. Thank you so much. Thank you. The longest of the animal patterns, the Scorpion Championship. And Michael Haugen has a lot on his mind. Michael Haugen Jr. showing you that straighter is straighter with that shot right there. But two straight will get you into trouble. Nah, that's too much. That's too much. He gives Martin Larson the opening that he's been looking for. Larson needs a double in the tenth to capture his first title. Great fake, great there, tripping the 4 7 10 out. He needs one more for title number one. But it was not to be. Larson will have to wait for his first title. And Michael Haugen has more than just a victory on his mind. What does it mean for you to win in front of your family and your girlfriend, Fong? Well, I got a different answer for you. Baby, will you marry me? <laughs> The main event at Geico PBA World Series of Bowling, the PBA World Championship, Mike Fagan, the number two qualifier going up against the tournament leader, Wes Vallott. And 8-10 late, giving Vallott the opportunity to strike for the win and a nine pin denies Vallott his 10th PBA Tour title. Mike Fagan finishes it off. Fifth title, second major at the PBA World Championship. Back-to-back -back majors coming up on the PBA Tour. Next Sunday, live coverage of the Masters with the 50th Barbasol PBA Tournament of Champions in two weeks. Also on tap, the Players' Championship and the PBA Roth Holman Doubles. Up next, it's the semifinals of the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. Three teams go at it to decide who will meet Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte in the finals.
The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational presented by AMF is brought to you by Hammer Bowling. Nothing hits like a hammer. By AMF, roll this way. By 900 Global, performance for your game. And by Hotelplanner.com, the best place to book hotel rooms. Best rooms, best rate, guaranteed. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational rolls on at AMF Bolodrome in Torrance, California. And let's look at an Ebonite flashback from the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational opened up by King James. Nothing like getting a little rosin on the approach to get things started. The 2009 CP3 event in Winston-Salem, North Carolina featuring Kevin Durant and Rudy Gay on the lanes. In the end, it was the team of LeBron James and Jason Couch defeating the team of Chris Paul and Chris Barnes. You know how lucky Jason Couch is, Mike? He's so lucky, he got to hug LeBron. <laughs> that is lucky. Kimberly Pressler is lane-side with Chris and Chris. Thanks, guys. I'm lane-side with the defending champions. And right here, Chris Barnes, you just came off. You bowled so well, but do you think it's fate because you got second and now you teamed up with this guy right here, your teammate, defending I, champions? I think it worked out perfect. I got uh, I got the best bowler on the field. Uh, last time we bowled, he hit his target every time on, <laughs> and struck every time he needed it. But this time I'm worried because uh, during I practiced so much before I got here, and then we had the roll-off, and I tore my thumb, which is what happens when I don't bowl very often. So now I have... I'm taped up and I'm tender, so I'm a little worried about it. In the pra my practice balls, it was like, ah. So I don't know, I'm, I, I will do my best not to let you down, but. It just sounds like the excuses are starting already. Uh, but uh, but you, uh, no, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right, let's get to bowling, guys. Back to you in the booth. And let's take a look at our semifinal rules. We're gonna go to a 10-frame Baker format match. Celebrities and PBA players will form three doubles teams. We'll alternate frames for one score. The high score will advance to face Jason Belmonte and Chris Paul. Doubles partners will roll their own frames. Nick Cannon teaming up with Sean Rash, French Montana, and Ronnie Russell. And defending champions Chris Hardwick with Chris Barnes. Nick Cannon leads off. Squash hit, four pin. That's a lot of count. I mean, film frames. I got to look at the talent of Nick Cannon. Hey, that's automatic spare. Come on, I might have to do my best to play a spare. spares game. Trying to hold you down, dude. Nick Cannon with a spare opportunity here. Opening frame, Baker doubles. Pro and Am teaming up to bowl one game. I was, I was, Pretty I was good strategy, though. I like that. The slow go. roller. You're right, buddy. Go, man. Go get In an open frame. That was faster than Jalen. Oh, yeah, wait And this faster. is French that's Montana. You got me. Jalen threw it about a third that fast. He was using a little Jalen Rose technique there. Remember when Jalen Rose bowled in this competition? Real slow at the spares. Oh, yeah. And Montana strikes. How impressive is that? My part the that's French, a, French Montana just gets up, nice. pulls it right down the middle of the lane and just flushes the one-two pocket. The three-step bunny hop approach, I love it. And it's just perfectly dead flush in the one-two. Chris Hardwick up, Hardwick Barnes, and a four pin. Chris keeps every ball in the pocket, keeps everything online, and he's a really good spare shooter. The question is whether or not his thumb holds up. Look how skinny those jeans are. Good lord. There we go. All right. How do you bowl and those Chris things? Hardwick uh, covers the spare. Like a and Sean Rash steps up, go, teamed team with mate. Nick Cannon. Go get working him. on the open frame. We're in the second frame of our semifinal match. My score advances to face Chris. Oh, no. And Jason Belmonte and Sean Rash with a strike. That's what I'm talking about. It's my partner right there. <laughs> we're, about, we're about to be leaders. And Ronnie Russell right with a comment for Sean Rash. We're about to be leaders. 
we will find out. And a ringing tempest. Great shot, and he was looking to take advantage of his partner's big X there in the first frame. You got to kind of look at these teams, though, and think that Hardwick and Barnes have the advantage because Chris Hardwick is just that much better than Montana and Nick Cannon. However, Barnes does not like that left lane. We'll have to wait and see if Barnes can figure something out. There have been 24 perfect games bowled on TV in the PBA history, and the last three are represented here. Chris Barnes with the 22nd perfect game in PBA Tour history on television at the World Series of Bowling in Vegas. Sean Rash, next in line, 23rd, 300 game at the Summer Swing. And the most recent perfection, Ronnie Russell, with the benefit of the late 10 pin in the 11th frame and the money ball for the 24th perfect game on television in PBA history. Chris Barnes now up in the second. He's happy with that. You know, he moved in a little bit farther left. That's a lot of nine. And didn't quite get it as far right as he would have liked. The ball just trips up high and it leaves the four pin. But Barnes is okay with that. You know, clean frames in this format is going to help you advance to that title match. And that's exactly what Chris Barnes and Chris Hardwick are looking for. Barnes covers the spare. We're through two frames. Baker doubles three team semifinal match. Winner goes on to face the All team right, of Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mike Jakubowski, Randy <laughs> Peterson, Kimberly Pressler, Ready, AMF right, right. Boladrome in Torrance, go, California. And let's not forget this guy up right now, Nick Cannon. Oh. Fades away from the pocket. I'll pick. All right. Six count, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> The advice I'd be giving Nick right now if I was his no, partner is, hey, Nick, hit the head pin. <laughs> the good news is that they're working on a strike, his, him and his partner, Sean Rash, and he's not going to lose count. Oh. Good try. But it's two opens in three frames, and all of a sudden, you know, they fall right, behind bro. early. So if Nick friend. Cannon can't muster some strikes, yeah, it's hard no. for Sean Rash we'll to get his team me. back in the running. Oh, Oh, yeah. <laughs> we speak the same language. <laughs> <laughs> Another good shot. Does he go with the Jalen Rose slow roller again at this four pin? French Montana. I'm worried. Talk about a path. Born in Morocco, hails out of South Bronx, New York. Debut album. Excuse my French, featuring. Hey, beat the freaks, song and live it. Let's go. Which featured <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Now, yep. trying to get the yeah. freak out of the yeah. four. Pit. What a great shot! What a great shot! Beat the song and live it, baby. French has brought some game, baby. <laughs> he freaks the four. <laughs> so Chris Hardwick is up. Injured thumb and he delivers a pretty pocket hit. Yeah. He's so great at keeping the ball in play in front of him in online. Match that with a really good spare game, and he's the consummate partner. Chris Hardwick gonna get some of that from his father, you think? A little bit of that grit. There's some great genes uh, in the Hardwick family when it comes to bowling, no doubt. Billy Hardwick, PBA Hall of Famer, and Sean Rash with an ugly hit, but counts as a strike. Come on, baby. Ugly, he likes that hit. That's why you put spin and revolutions on a bowling ball, so you can carry hits like that. Belmonte's made a fortune carrying that hit the last couple of years on our tour. <laughs> Belmonte's got a lot of hits from a lot of angles. When my ball hits there, there's still a lot of pins left on the deck. Russell high, 3-6-10. Left lane starting further, to curve, further folks. Away, see. On, Left lane starting to curve. <laughs> Sean Rash is going a little bit straighter with more speed on that lane. His line looks pretty Shoot good for now. Left, to the right. <laughs> make it straight. Shoot. To <laughs> you got to make it straight. There you go. 
Good spare for to left to the Russell. <laughs> Clean through four. Semi-final Baker doubles match. He said shoot to the left to the right. High score advances. And I spared it. And Hardwick and Barnes have a three-pin advantage over Montana and Russell and a 22-pin advantage over That's a good Nick song, Cannon Chris. and Sean yeah. Rash. Right here, Barnes and Hardwick can really start separating themselves from the other two teams with a strike here from Barnes, left lane. Mixing oh, hit and a double first of this semifinal. Strike, Shot strike there. <laughs> Moved in a little bit more, gave it some more room, tried to spin his hand off the side to get that ball to turn the corner, did nicely. Hit him thin, watch him spin Hardwick and Barnes with a nice lead here through four frames. Barnes Hardwick in the 200s, Montana Russell in the 190s, Nick Cannon, Sean Rash in the 170s. That was very nice. <laughs> hey, hi. Come on, there Nick. You go. got, you it. got it. To the left, but to the right. To the left, to the right. <laughs> to the left, but to the right. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Mark Baker at? Make us proud. Right Love, bro. Pleasure, man. Definitely. Nick's film yeah. credits include Drumline back in 2002. Love don't cost a thing in 03. Ah. Roll bounce in 05. An open frame right here. Try, baby. I tried, bro. Try, baby. Going home early. He didn't listen to you, man. <laughs> Going home early. Yeah, but he's having <laughs> fun. Yeah, a lot of times. And you it's for know. a great cause, the CP3 hey, Foundation. Keep like a pro. Don't throw me off, High man. score here will advance and face the CP3 Foundation founder, Chris Paul. LA Clippers guard teamed up with oh, Jason Belmonte. All the way up. And that's going to have trouble knocking down hey, wood. Baby. Got you, well, I got baby. four. Right. Don't worry about it. Hold on, I got you. He had to use the little powder stuff. Oh, yeah. this could be disastrous. That's what, <laughs> That's what you needed. <laughs> Stay away from that stuff. Two hander blew in his thumb hole earlier that don't use his thumb. What's up this is spare here. Can we reset yeah. that pin um, back there? It does. Oh, oh shoot. And seven all day for Montana. Oh, there you go. Sorry, no, we got time, dude. Hardwick, right lane. Boy, I wonder how many times that's been said over the history of professional bowling. Huh? Hardwick on the right lane working on a double. Oh, he's too good. Got to hook a little. And a mixing strike. How about a How's turkey that? for the defending champions? Chris Hardwick and Chris Barnes in control of the Baker double semifinal. The high score will advance. French Montana teaming up with Ronnie Russell on strikes. Sean Rash teaming up with Nick Cannon. Can anyone catch Chris Barnes and Chris Hardwick? More semifinal action next. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational rolls on at AMF Bolodrome in Torrance, California. This Columbia 300 fun fact, 2015 marks the sixth time that a Chris Paul PBA event has aired on Super Bowl Sunday. And the Super Clash put that man, Chris Paul, into our championship match. And we have three teams it, battling hey. to face Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte in the final. Hardwick and Barnes are in command, clean with a turkey working. Final five frames of our Baker doubles where a pro and an am team up to bowl one score. Sean Rash up in the sixth frame. And a 2 10 split. You can get that, you can get that, it's okay. It's okay. You can get Powerful that. release of Sean Rash. Coming up a bit short that time, leaving the two and the 10 split. And that oh, is a head scratcher. Oh, right. to show him how it's done. And Rash open frame. It's okay. If you say boys, it's okay. Uh, go. At 70 through hey, six boys, frames for the team. Nick yeah. Cannon boys, and boys, Sean boys, Rash. Yeah. Yeah. Hardwick and Barnes in command. Yeah. I got no chance. French yeah. Montana and Ronnie Russell, 77 open in the fifth. <laughs> Look good for the late. Yeah. And Russell clears the deck. We still in it, baby. Let's go. I 
I've seen you both. Come on. <laughs> Never surrender. Got it. Roddy Russell yeah. on the strike. Flashing back to the 2013 CP3, contested for the second time at Lucky Strike in Los Angeles. Kevin Hart teaming up with Bill O'Neill and stealing the show. Chris Barnes and Chris Hardwick. The resuscitation needed for victory in the end. It was Hardwick and Barnes winning the final match by an exciting, thrilling score. Final 270-267. And now Chris Barnes up in the sixth frame working on a couple of strikes. Now, I still like him. Let him know. That's makeable. But Barnes doesn't like that lane. <laughs> you can make that. Dang. Huge advantage for Bill Monty hey, in the title match on that left that. lane because he can get in, loft it, and use all that power. Barnes is kind of stuck in between. He gets that early roll, and then if he moves in and tries to open the lane up, the ball hangs a little bit. All right. It's all right. By the way, the big four has only been made one time on television in the history of professional bowling. Walter Ray Williams Jr. I never thought it was Turn the trick on the big four. <laughs> Only time on television. And we look good doing it. That's all that matters. And Nick Cannon, you, you look great doing, doing it. it. Let's take a look at this game here. Oh, baby. Give me one. And folks, that's your typical recreational style. Notice there was no curve down it. lane. And there's a so big difference matters. between recreational bowling and professional bowling. A lot to be learned here. If Nick Cannon were throwing a high performance bowling ball and he could actually rotate his wrist there around go, the ball, he would it. see the ball curve. Oh, this looks good. You got it. You got it. it is good. Nick Cannon converts the one, two, four, eight perfectly. You got a chance. Hey, Let's take I'm another look at you that spare real. conversion. <laughs> Nick Cannon gets the ball to the left side of the head pin. The ball's going to take out the two, four, and the eight. And that, folks, is your hammer. Tough spare replay. French Montana down to a knee. Shakes him down. How impressive is this guy? And Nick Cannon's impressed. He's got two strikes. And that's a double for Montana and Russell. And they uh, are back in this match. Uh, not so fast, my friend. They're only in the 180s. Barnes and Hardwick still in the, in the 2-0s. Okay, now they're back in the match. <laughs> All right, 5-10 split for Hardwick. Now they are back in the match. Oh, this ain't good, man. It's killing me small. I had to copy him. He's doing some work right now. That's right. Last time I checked. He's sad. He's dead. I feel the hate. <laughs> Russell Montana do some work right now. Trying to slide the 5 into the 10. Open frame. All right. We weren't talking much before. It was hard to get a word in with you. We got it, baby. Hey, baby. Come on now. Barnes, Hardwick, 190. Russell, Montana with another strike. Take the lead. They're only three back. Flat tip. It's okay. It's okay. Hope I didn't hurt anybody. You can go pick that up. See that? No, Sean Rash, <laughs> Nick Cannon. <laughs> Their tournament coming to an end here. Just a couple more frames. There you go. Yeah. All right, don't, don't mess up, baby. Don't mess up. Yeah, yeah, we got this. All right. That Table pressure of that strike, I can feel it. It's tense in here. A couple more opens. It's a shot of the semifinal right now. Ronnie Russell with a double working. Can take the lead against Hardwick and Barnes, who've gone back to back open. Eight frame. Big shot. Great shot. They just took the lead. How about you? Uh. <laughs> I can't be scared. Barnes up. We see that eighth frame. That's how we do it. Last time on this lane, it was a big four. Come on, get us back in. Yes. Hey, it doesn't even matter. That one had room to the right. right here. 
Ball makes its move back to the pocket, stops right into that switch zone. And now Barnes has set up his partner, Hardwick, perfectly. Nick Cannon finishing up. This will be his last shot of the competition. Yeah, he does. Of course he does. <laughs> Three off the right, and down goes Cannon. Get up, man. Man. Get up. We went and had no chance anyway. Hey, if you bend your bill, you can focus more, I promise. I can pick that up, though. Sean, tell him to bend his bill, and he can focus more. Bend his bill up, he can focus more. The crowd urging Thank Nick Cannon you. on to clear the deck here in the foundation ninth I frame. Him, if he bends his bill up, he can focus more. See, his mind. Mirror image, three if he out. Bends it, it's in there. You got it, baby. Going on early. <laughs> and it's going to come down to the final two teams. Champions born right here. Let's go. We tried. Randy French Montana goes from little or no I'm bowling experience <laughs> to throwing the biggest yeah, shot he's ever going to throw. Go like none. And, and if he strikes right here, these guys are going to advance to the finals. Oh my, it's there! Oh, fasty! What a great shot, though. You know what? A spare here could do it for his team. They've got a five pin lead right now with a spare. However, Hardwick is working on a strike that Barnes delivered in the eighth frame. Big shot right here. Can French Montana. A superstar who's never pulled before. Can he make it? Oh my! Kenny! Kenny! He just did! He's done the unbelievable! <laughs> Great spare! <laughs> what an incredible story! He's never pulled before. He's got two strikes in this game. He's got two spares in this game. Unbelievable performance. Now look at Hardwick. He's up and he's ready. Ninth frame working on a strike. Oh, and a 10 pin. It's going to come down to the 10th frame in the pros. Ronnie Russell can double and get good count and shut out Hardwick and Barnes. I mean, the clear favorites to advance to the title match against Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte. And right now, they're in jeopardy of not advancing. Great spare. You can always count on Hardwick. The name is synonymous with having a great spare game. Sean Rash finishing up for Rash and Nick Cannon. I can't believe this. I tried, boy. I'm just trying to get out of all these guys' way. Uh, he mad because he got stuck with me. <laughs> no, man. No, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, the side action wasn't good. Oh, God. Rash changing lines, 2 10 good. split. Getting out of the way for the 10th the frame for Montana Russell and Hardwick Barnes, which will determine oh my God, our I hope you make that. second I think you team might make in that. our championship match. Here's the slow pass. And good for the highlight reel. Respect from Chris Paul as the trick shot clears the deck and clears the way for the drama that is. Who will face Jason Belmonte and Chris Paul in the championship match as you bowl on the PBA tour? It comes down to the 10th frame. 205 max for Russell in Montana. And that's high. Almost, you baby. Said, so I'm fine. Huh? I feel good about it. You feel good about that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left lane is tough. Like, it's like tougher than two lanes. They moved the pros <laughs> over there. And, yeah. You know, Barnes, big <laughs> open there in the major. sixth frame with the big four. Ronnie Russell <laughs> has <laughs> managed. Sorry, I threw the wrong I, ball. I said I'll give you the rest <laughs> of the season. But right now, a spare and a strike, and they'll shoot 194. That'll force Chris Barnes to double in the 10. Remember the last time him and Hardwick won this? Barnes had to do something in the 10th frame, and he did it. Right now, he's going to have another opportunity. So, fill ball coming for Ronnie Russell. 194 with a clean fill. We 
call him the country boy out here. Country boy Ronnie Russell plays some guitar, writes songs as well. And now a fill ball for 194 at the crowd behind him. It's all on the shoulders of Chris Barnes. You need it. You need it. He needs a double here. We're good. Don't worry about it. He's been here many times before. He wants that trophy just as bad as anybody else in this competition. The hand of God. Two strikes and change to advance. Take time, bro. Or Montana Russell yeah, advance the championship right? match. Tenth frame must strike twice. You know you ain't gonna do that twice in a row. He's concentrating so hard to look at it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> and a little bit of chat in the set T. Set and do it again. That's fine. Woo. Kevin tried last time. <laughs> we remember that with yeah, Kevin Hart. Back. <laughs> we never had a fight on TV. <laughs> <laughs> if he doubles on this after all this, there's no chance. Barnes must strike <laughs> twice to advance to the championship match, 10th frame. Yeah, now you gotta pull for him. And he mixes it. That's one. That's one. Well, that's, you know what? I, I wanna see it because the worst thing you can do is really get somebody PO'd at you and then make them focus that much harder. He's done it all hey, over the Fox world. He's done it on the PBA tour. Look at those Look eyes. At his face. Look at his face. As we all said in the business. open, all, all business. Two one, two one. It's about competition. And this is about one strike to earn yourself another trip to another championship match. Must strike to advance. Come on. Oh, high. Four nine split. <laughs> Montana and Russell have pulled the upset. Barnes needing this strike for the victory. Just a touch high and a 4 9 split dashes the hopes of our defending champions. French Montana Ronnie Russell on a 193 advance. Our championship match is next. And welcome back to AMF Bolodrome in Torrance, California. CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational rolls on. Mike Jakubowski with Hall of Famer Randy Peterson and Nick Cannon. And uh, yes, you got all kinds of talent now. Talent on the lanes. Not talent on the lane at all. I was. It was tough out there for me. But you know, I look good doing it. That's all that mattered. Definitely you, look good doing it. That's all that mattered. Yeah. Speaking about looking good. Look how good I look standing next to Nick. That's all I cared about. You know, it's I was amazing. really, I was really disappointed that I didn't get to bowl with you. Because all the celebs, I just wanted to bowl with you. Uh, well, thank you. That means a lot. I mean, really, I, I watch you all the time, and I Appreciate said, you know, you. my bucket list would be complete if I could bowl with Nick Cannon. Well, we got to set it up. It's Let's a bowling date. Let's do it. All right, me and you. You heard it right here. It's time now for the Geico Championship recap. In the Celebrity Super Clash, it was Hardwick against CP3. Hardwick, 10 pin. CP3, 10 in the pit. He wins it. The Professional Super Clash, it was Barnes against Belmonte. Another 10 pin. Belmonte gets 10 in the pit. Belmonte, he will be reunited with Chris Paul. And in the semifinal, it was all about French. French oh, yeah. Montana, baby. Him and partner, Hirani Russell, going up against Chris Hardwick and Chris Barnes. Barnes needs a double in the 10th. Gets the first one. Here's the money shot. Not to be, it's a 
Crutch Montana, Ronnie Russell will take on Jason Belmonte and Chris Paul. Two's a doubles team and three's a crowd, except when you're with Kimberly Pressler, who's lane side. Thanks, guys. That was a pretty exciting semifinals round. You guys almost didn't make it here, but you are. Can you believe it? You know what? He performed under pressure better than even I have seen here the whole time. So I'm just going to keep riding his tail and just keep doing what I do. Now, French, when we talked earlier, you said you can't bowl. I beg to differ. I've seen you throw strikes tonight. What's going on? I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> but it's going real good, and I have a real good partner, and we're winning. It's all in the wrist right here. It's all in the wrist, and it's time to do the finals, guys. Good luck to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes it's not about thinking, Randy. Yeah. It's about performing. You got to go. That's it. Nick, did He's you give? In the zone. Did you give him any advice coming I, in? I told him, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> He's not worried about nothing. <laughs> don't panic. I love it. It's a championship match. Baker doubles. One game to determine our CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational Champions. French Montana up opening shot. That one goes wide right, just three pins. <laughs> French Montana still having fun out here. I think it really is great that French Montana, yourself, and CP3's friends take the time to support the CP3 Foundation while at the same time uh, having some fun out here. We love it. Too much is given, much is required, and we get to uh, show that as well as have a good time. So it's all, it's all fun here. Well, watching my man French uh, go ahead and pick this up one time. Do you have any predictions for this title match? Uh, I'm gonna go with French. Really? The, the French high. Oh, three off uh, the right, right, none to the left. That's I'm, three to start. I might reconsider that. Hold on. I, 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 I spoke too soon. I mean, as much game as, as Chris Paul has, you're gonna go against. Well, I was I was going with I was riding the bandwagon for it. Okay, I got gotcha. you. All right. No, Here he that. comes, the seven-time NBA All-Star. His, his pants are way that. too tight. Uh, it's <laughs> Would you, are those almost skinny jeans? Those are, those are skinny sweats. Skinny sweats. Dang. He needs there some bigger go. sweats. It'll tighten the pocket. <laughs> Mash eight right. for Chris Paul. Oh, man. I'm surprised I ain't been doing that. That's all right, Chris. Don't worry about Nick talking about the first your time I'd have had to pick up a spare. Skinny sweats. The skinny do they sweats. make do they make they such a thing? I, no, apparently Very they do. <laughs> Got it though. Uh, skinny sweats. All right. Oh! Good job. Like it's all the sweats, it's baby. Yeah, he's got game though. It is the sweats. You know, he was he won this event back to back years. Really? With this partner. Oh, see. see. It's fixed. <laughs> Watch this guy's backswing. You, you, yeah, you saw it in the last minute. Real high backswing. Yeah. It's a pretty good athlete. Where does one get formed like that? You know, it's just kind of wow. It's just something that's oh, developed and created at a young age. The you know, players probably watched some of the players before him that had a real high backswing. Yeah. They wanted to emulate that, and, yeah. and so he develops their, you know, his own style. But you know, like in any sport, Nick, we, we see different forms, different styles, but. If you really slow mo and break it down, there's so many things that are similar. There's so many, so many pieces of their games that are identical. <laughs> I really, I usually shoot like really straight at it. So that was Jason good. Belmonte opening shot here in the championship match. The dominant year of Jason Belmonte, back-to-back -back major titles at the Masters. And following it up with another title in the Tournament of Champions to earn back-to-back -back Player of the Year honors. Belmonte, 31 years old. Two-hander is, is uh, quite unique. There you go. We're up for a good fight here. Here you go. Real. So Belmo strikes, and it's hey, a spare strike start for Chris Paul like and Jason Belmonte. And French Montana will get another crack here in the third frame. And here's another look at that strike. See, now he's got to loft the ball in the air because he's so far to the left. He's right. French. French. Oh. oh. Good hey, hit, bad way. Yeah. my mouth. <laughs> You know, if you're Chris Paul, and this is your event, the, the last thing you want is, to French, is French Montana to come in here and take over. Right. <laughs> the last thing you want is somebody right. else taking your hardware. No, absolutely. You don't think CP3 right. right now sitting on the bench going, 
This is exactly the way I envisioned this happening. <laughs> he didn't see French coming. Right? I know that much. And he's about to pick it up. Oh, field goal. Hey, he's oh. just trying to get his count. <laughs> trying to get his count. Trying to hit the left. Trying to hit the left and the right. Get the oh, count. French has been saying, just hit it to the left all night. <laughs> hit it to the left. That is his advice to everyone. Switch your phone. Sounds like a new song. Uh, hit it to, goes, the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Now, Chris no, no, let, Hey, Don't ever do that again, Mike. <laughs> I gave it my Come best. Back. Don't ever do that again. Ooh. Six pin. Ooh. All right, all right. Ooh. Now, one or two left? Anyone, anyone. We got it. Well, you got it. I got to try to break my wrist, though, huh? Jason Belmonte, he's got that like, fes hey, facial fescue yeah, going as usual. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of looks a little bit. Pick it up. Yeah, it's like, they, bit call, like these two called each other on the Breaking phone and said, "Hey, beard night, by. beard night, <laughs> full facial tonight." Oh, oh, pick a little. Oh, oh, man, slides it down. Ooh. Paul picks up the spare, and oh, Paul Belmonte stay clean for three. He didn't need to hit him hard. 30 pin advantage here early in our championship match at the CP3 PBA Invitational. Stay alive. Baker doubles, alternating frames. Mike Jakubowski with Randy Peterson. Nick Cannon joins us in the booth. Yes. And Ronnie Russell is up in the fourth frame. He has the swagger of a champion. I love it. Oh! Hey, roll two. What do you call that? Uh, what would you call that, Nick? Uh, Nice pick up. Okay. <laughs> All right. I was gonna I have to go with skill because I couldn't do it. He's got a little pro, little pro roll action on that. Tripped out that two pin late. Belmonte now. Here we go. I want you to watch this. Watch the loft. The ball's gonna be airborne before it hits that lane, and that's so he clears that left gutter. When they got you left. <laughs> I see money. Oh, oh no! Seven ten split. Just saying, bro. Ooh. I've seen these yeah, picked up before, high. though. Yeah, right. Only Sorry, three Bill times Mark. has this been made in the history of bowling on television. Hey, really? That, three that times. Just trying to keep it interesting. But yeah, if yeah, anybody yeah, can make it, believe. this guy can. Look at that. Pocket hit gets eight. Second place on good night. Oh, a little backup ball at it. Oh. Hey, you know what? Interesting. Reverse twist results in an eight out for. Paul and Belmonte. Right, and okay, now okay. French Montana with another opportunity to double for his team. Watch him put the French on it. You got the French. It's going no. where it needs to go. Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? French Montana. What a great performance. French Montana. He's incredible. What a great shot. They just doubled up. They cut the lead to six. I got about a 75% chance of uh yes. Oh boy. Light trouble. Four, five. Trouble. Not yet. CP is hey, worried. Like He's worried right now. This, Nick, you see a lot of talent hanging around pro bowlers for a little bit. What do you perceive as the talent of a pro bowler? Uh, hey, they're all horrible singers. Hi, Chris. You just let me know what you need. I'm back. You're there. Ooh, Chris Paul now back to back opens and he hands the lead to Russell and French on the bench. Your prediction's looking pretty good, I'm Nick. You, I have to go with my man, French Montana. He's incredible. Well, Nick, I'll go in French. Nick, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate you being at this event. And I look forward to that bowling match with you, my friend. Thank you so much. Back half of the championship match comes your way next for the CP3 trophy. Welcome back to a packed house at AMF Bulletrome in Torrance, California. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational rolls on. Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte facing another comeback from Ronnie hey, Russell in French Hulk Montana. And now Russell with an opportunity to cut into the lead with another strike. 
in a tight situation. What a turnaround, Turkey! <laughs> Unbelievable. That's trick time. Trick time. I had to tell the dude to watch the bug, dude. I'm gonna kick you. Okay, sit right here. Sit. Sit close. I mean, this is crazy. I can pretend like a bowl of crest. You wouldn't give French Montana and Ronnie Russell a chance in this. One pocket, 7 10, and a miss spare later. Belmonte and Chris Paul are losing. Seven tens. That's a good thing. Two things have to happen. French Montana's got to come back down to earth and have an open frame here in the seventh. And Chris Paul needs to step up in the seventh and double. Did you just, hey, we're frozen just on this now? Oh. That's wide, and we're going to lose a bunch of count. I got one more. Right now, Chris Paul just looked at Jason Belmonte and said, don't, don't be nervous. Hey, hey, we're still in the lead. Don't matter. He wants a mulligan. Should we give him a mulligan? <laughs> we're still in the lead, brother. That's great. Right down the middle. Little Chris <laughs> providing support Oops. for uh, oh, yeah. Big Chris. That's close. Oh, you got a lot of pins, though. All right. All and right. that goes as a 1-6 oh, in no your scoreboard. Nice you got to hit that strike. You got to win his own. 95. We're still okay. Yeah, we're still well, they went from the lead to now down by 10, and Chris Paul can increase it to 20 with a strike right here. I messed it up. I messed it up. Oh, come on, see. Did he just say don't mess it up? He always messes things up. Oh, I didn't turn it over. And that didn't come back. One, two, eight, double wood. Turn it over. Trust it. Chris is checking out the scoreboard. He knows that with a spare here, him and his partner Belmonte will maintain their lead. Give him some coaching. Give him some coaching. Yeah, it's gonna be bold for me. Not right now, son. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> Serious business going on right now. Oh, no. That's Look out. Good. Look out. All right, the 10 pin lead is gone. They now trail by four. Brother, we got Basically an even match. Three frames remaining. We're still up, right? We're still up. Black hole. And Ronnie Russell will get the first shot here in the eighth frame. Four pin lead over Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte. And Russell strikes. Yeah, baby. Sets up French Montana one. More time. I only like Billy Ray. I only like Billy Ray. Now Belmo, eighth frame. He went there on that one. Damn, that's a perfect strike, putting the eight and nine. That's just nasty. I mean, that's just nasty. Lofton, the left gutter captain, his ball still hits that hard. He's been perfect in this title match with the exception of an awful break in the fourth frame of the pocket 7-10. But all that speed and power is just almost unfair. Now, French Montana working on a strike. His last shot. Hey, you got it. Don't worry about it. This is big because if Damn, he opens buddy. here and Chris Paul strikes a lot of in the ninth right frame, now. it could be all but over. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Give me a chance here. Let's go. <laughs> He's struggling, isn't he? An eight count. All right. All right. And the lead once again passed over on the bench. That's, I'll tell you what, what a great performance though by French Montana, a player who, or a celebrity who never bowls, comes in, throws two strikes, two spares in this title match, and really gave his chance, his team a chance. It's all about CP3 right here. Brooklyn! And avoid.
avoids the baby split, just a nine pin. That could have been nasty, dude. Yeah. He almost left the nine ten, so that could have been real nasty. Well, nice break here, only leaving the nine pin. Ronnie Russell yeah, giving us well, a little I mean, commentary right, right there, but crosses over, yeah. barely catches the head pin. <laughs> Ten pin falls late, easy single pin yeah, spare. CP3 looking to win this, and instead it's another open frame. They trail by two pins. The pros are up in the tenth frame. It's going to come down to what the pros do. Ronnie Russell could step up and throw two strikes and get nine and win this thing for him and his partner, French Montana. If I take it. It's all in Russell's hands. Tenth frame. Mixing seven pin stands. Hey, it don't matter. If I get it, strike, he needs a double. Yeah. There is a guy. This left lane has been nasty for a lot of players. Ronnie Russell's done okay on it. Belmonte's done really well on it. A great shot there, leaving the mixer seven. Now, no matter what, Russell and Montana cannot shut out CP3 and Belmonte. Now, count is a big deal right here on this fill shot. He needs to get at least nine on this shot to force Belmonte to double. And we do have the possibility of a tie still. French Montana working the social media. It will be very interesting to see the response this gets from his fans. It doesn't matter. Nine count, 150 for Montana Russell. He needs two. Belmonte needs two and two. Two strikes and two pins. Remember the last time French Montana and his partner were in this position, Chris Barnes needed to double in the 10th. You have to be a one for one champion. French tried to put the, uh, the whammy on him. Barnes gets the first hit, goes 4-9. Same exact scenario once again. Two strikes to hoist the CP3 trophy. 10th frame, here's Belmonte. Needs them both. I know. It's over. French Montana and Ronnie Russell will hoist the CP3 Invitational Trophy. They have won the championship match. More in a moment when we return to AMF Bullet Drone. The CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational presented by AMF is brought to you by AMF. Roll This Way by Ebonite. Bowl It Forward by the USBC. A future for the sport. And by Barbasol. Life is full of close shaves. Make sure your close shave is a Barbasol close shave. And welcome back, everybody, to the CP3 PBA Celebrity Invitational. And they're your champions. French Montana getting CP3 to sign the hardware. Ronnie Russell does the same. Boy, the two biggest underdogs come away with the hardware, Mike. Kimberly Pressler is lane side with our champions. These guys were the long shot, and they find themselves right here in the winner's circle. You guys came from behind twice to make it here. What's it feel like holding this trophy? It is really heavy, but you know what? It's awesome, and I give it all to my boy here, French. Yeah, let's talk about him for a minute here. He says he's never bowled before. Comes out here. He was throwing strikes left and right. He just he did it when he needed to. He came through when we, when we needed some pins, and... Uh, I'm just glad that I got a chance to do all this for Chris Paul charity, and, and I'm sure he is too. French, let's talk about you coming out here bowling, doing so well. What's it like you're standing in the winner's circle? You beat Chris Paul. As being the champion of today's bowling tournament for my brother Chris Paul, it was just a gift from God today that I was blessed. And, you know, I had fun. I had a great partner. 
and everything was just going in for me. I was on fire. You were on fire indeed. Congratulations and to I you made both. Him sign it. By the, by the way, I made him sign it so he could remember to my man Montana. Yeah, definitely. Making it custom for you too. Congratulations on your win. Now you guys go celebrate. Be sure to join us next Sunday on ESPN, the stepladder final round of the United States Bowling Congress Masters. Next Sunday, 1 Eastern on ESPN. PBA stars and the bright stars of sports and entertainment combined to support the CP3 Foundation and another unforgettable finish. French and Russell claim the title. I'm Mike Jakubowski for Randy Peterson and Kimberly Pressler. Enjoy the rest of your Super Bowl Sunday.